and the Nigerian military is urging terrorists who are nursing thoughts of surrendering to do so without delay. Major General John Nenche, Coordinator Directorate of Defense Media Operations, made the call in wake of the surrendering of 11 fighters of the Islamic State of West African Province, ISWAP, to the troops of Operation Lafayette Duli. In the light of the relentless onslaught by the Nigerian Armed Forces against the terrorists in the Northeast, it is expected that more will follow suit. Defense correspondent Aldo Nainia reports. The relocation of the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tukor Buratai, to the theater of operations clearly demonstrated the resolve of the Nigerian government to put an end to the activities of insurgents in the country. And the decision may be yielding the desired results, with the deaths of terrorists in large numbers, while some have chosen to surrender. This number of surrendered BHT aspire fighters is an indication of the heat of our operational activities on the terrorists due to the renewed impetus in the theater to end the criminality. There are indications that more terrorists are willing to surrender. Reintegration of repentant terrorists has been a focal point of the non-kinetic measures adopted, hence the need to absorb more terrorist elements who may want to surrender. 280 clients have successfully undergone the program and have been reintegrated into the society. 25 of this number we are Nigerians who we are sent back to their country. With this, other fighters are hereby encouraged to come out of the bush and hide us to surrender accordingly. And while it had been firmly established who the enemy in the Northeast is, the same cannot be said about the identities of marooning and bloodthirsty headsmen whose activities seem to have a wider spread. Major General John gives some clarity about the identities. We want the general public to continue to provide credible information to the armed forces of Nigeria to facilitate our operations in this regard. Why do we say so? Before now, there had been a lot of confusion. They would just come and say, we have seen armed headsmen. When the troops of Operation West took, we go, they are not armed. But now this was confirmed. And in that way, it cannot justify the assertion that they are armed actually. Victory may still not have been earned yet. However, the armed forces of Nigeria have restated their resolve to bring the insurgency to an end. From Abuja, Aon Duna, Inga, Silverbird News 24.